well hello everyone how you all doing in this video we are going to talk about the ios 15.0.1 and what's new in this update is it worth installing this update let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time my name is jay and you are watching tech hyped all right so this update came at 548 mb on my iphone 12 by the way as you can see here in the about section this update is mainly to fix some bugs that we were having on our iPhones and um, even more than that some people on the iPhone 13 were experiencing a lot of issues for example there were a lot of issues in CarPlay and not only that as you can see the one of the biggest issues that people were facing was iphone 13 models with apple watch were not able to unlock their devices which was a really big issue for a lot of people even one of my friend was trying to do this and he thought that his phone was bugged and uh, he went to the apple store he showed his phone and uh, the apple store said that you have to wait for the future update it is really weird that apple shipped a device with so many issues uh, with the iOS 15.0 firmware. This update does not really brought any new wallpapers or any major new features. So do not expect new features in this update. This is mainly to fix some bugs. After that, is it worth installing this update now that you have installed it on your iPhone 13? Is it worth installing on the iPhones like iPhone 12, 11, 10R, 7, 6S? Is it worth installing on these devices the answer is yes these on these devices apple have actually fixed another issues that people were having for example with apple pay if you were having some issues with apple pay using touch id on phones with home button and face id on phones with face id sensors like the iphone 12 10r 11 and the iphone 10 10s those devices were having some issues while using face id and touch id on home button mainly on devices with touch id scanner that issue will be also fixed in this update all in all it is a really minor update the ios 15.0.1 on my device and by the way ios 15.1 beta have already fixed the issues that people were having on the iphone 13 that apple watch thingy so if you are already on beta do not worry you already have it fixed so disconnect your apple watch and uh, just go ahead use that unlock with apple watch feature there is not a lot to talk about in this update so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the ios 15.1 release date as apple have released on the 1st of october today as today is 1st of october and apple have released this update i would expect apple to release a 15.1 version later this month which will be about at uh, from 20th to, to 26th of october between these two dates i expect apple to release the ios 15.1 to public also the ios 15.1 version will be coming up with some new wallpapers fingers crossed well that's pretty much it that we have with this update if you did find this video helpful entertaining consider hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these and my flagship video which i invested a lot of time in which is the macbook air m1 review is already up so you can check that video out too here is a quick little snippet of that video that's pretty much it peace out everyone and have a great day Oh, okay.